She is the number one ranked female eater in the world. The seven time Nathan's champion. But she had to relinquish her title last year as she awaited the birth of her son. And she arrives here today for her most major contest in two years with an injured hand. Her back is against the wall. But that is how she likes it. 104 hard-boiled eggs. 48 and one half Nathan's famous hot dogs and buns. 8.5 pounds of kimchi. Mickey Sudo! The 13 greatest female eaters in the world. A 10 minute all you can eat eating contest right here at Nathan's Famous. Ladies, unless there is an issue, I'm going to begin this contest. My friends, count it down with me from five, four, three, two, one, go! Uh, let's eat and let's eat quickly because really the first two or three minutes here are where this thing gets decided. It really does get fixed here. Early in the game is where the uh, the eaters find their lane and so you'll see a lady like Michelle right here try to get you know a five dog per minute Michelle going Lesko, for a while and sustain that and you'll see that later in the men's contest a lot of hay is made early on. And buns. And usually to there is left, a, a right, quick start, Mickey Sudo, the number kind of one settle into a pace for several minutes, and, three and then there's generally a drop-off, which is where, in addition to Brian being kind of freakish in her talent anyway with Mickey Sudo, is she sometimes can make it a split. She can come back a little stronger in the last five minutes, which is basically unheard of. About to take a 10-dog lead as we reach the halfway point. 48 and a half in her last competition here. That was back in 2020, so she's halfway to that number and firmly in control. I'm sorry to interject, but that was a slow, contemplative sort of couple of seconds with, with Mickey. You never see that. But there's been a couple of times now where we've seen Mickey actually look out and sort of shake her head a little bit. She's running slower than she expected to run, and she did say yesterday one concern that she would be looking for was would she have to overchew, and it, there's been a couple of times she stopped mid-dog, sort of collected herself, and then continued. So I feel like she's running slower than she expected. I would concur, Jason. But still looks like I feel like we're going to be eight for eight yeah. when it comes to women's <laughs> championship. And that, that's, that's the problem. Impressive. That's, that's sort of the, the bar, though, that uh, she sets for herself. It's the bar that Joey Chestnut sets for themselves. That sometimes you're like, oh, it wasn't quite a record. You're like, right. But she's going to win, and she's going to wreck the hot dogs, and she's going to wreck the field. But, you know, you're going to also hear from Michelle Lesko saying, darn, I could have, I could you know, I could have gotten there with 38, you know, 39. And uh, Rodriguez will feel the same way. Sudo, you know, she she's up there. She's she's the champ, and I think it just sheds off on the right or left, and these other eaters can't reach her pace. But they're all a little slow today, uh, so far. Less than 40 seconds to go, and she's kind of pushing the 40 hot dog mark, which again, uh, that's a remarkable yeah. number. That's nothing to sniff at, and also <laughs> eight titles. Eight, well, I guess you can't say consecutive because she didn't compete last year, but eight titles, the most decorated female competitive eater of all time. The queen. The queen. And doing it with hot dogs here, but has a wide range of things that she can eat and be competitive in and win as George Shea counts her down to championship number eight. Three, two, one. Put down your hot dogs. Slay. Champion once again, Mickey Sudo, the final number unofficially at 40, which is still a spectacular feat. It's a dominant victory, and yet I, I feel like there might be a, a hint of disappointment in yeah, that Yeah, we'll see, but you know, the, the, the women's contest has 20 grand in prize money just like the men's, so there's, there's always that to sort of comfort her. After a year in which she was forced to relinquish the title to give birth to an amazing son, Max, she came back, she's nothing would stand in her way with 40 hot dogs and buns, the once and future champion of the world, Mickey Sudo! Mickey, we talked about it. How did it feel to be back in front of this crowd after a couple of years without people while you were eating? Oh my gosh, I knew I was excited to come back. 
but the feeling that you get once you're actually here is unlike anything else. I mean, I'm so grateful to this crowd for pushing me through year after year, supporting me. And uh, I mean, how amazing is this? You said you wanted to show Max what could be done. So when he looks back at this later in life, what will the story of this championship be? Yeah, I want to set an example, not in competitive eating, but, you know, to do things that you love and to push yourself to your absolute limits. And uh, when things get difficult, to still give it a try. And, uh, you know, you might actually just come out victorious. Well, congratulations as always. Uh, congratulations on the win. You guys go celebrate. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.